Hi! Today at Meepleville, we are going to talk about one of our most popular games, Splendor. I have E and I have Liam with me today, and we're going to go ahead and begin. In Splendor, you are playing the part of a rich merchant, and you are trying to do mines, transportation methods, and artisans to acquire gems to turn them into beautiful jewels. Splendor is a very elegant and simple game, and it scales well with two, three, or four players. So, I'm going to let them know how to win the game and the moves they can take. So, E and Liam, the way you win the game is by acquiring 15 points. Now, points are only acquired by the large white numbers that you see on the cards. Also on the top, there are nobles. They have numbers as well, the white threes. Those can be part of the 15 points to win the game. We'll get into those later. Now, on your turn, you can only do one of three things. The first thing you can do, we'll set these aside for later, is take three different gems. Okay, so three different gems is one action. Another thing you can do is take two gems of the same color, however, there's a stipulation. There must be a total of four in the stack in order for you to take two of the same color, okay? Now, out of these three possible choices, you can only do one. So the first one is taking three different or two of the same, but there have to be two in the stack. The second thing you can do is purchase a card. Now, purchasing a card is very simply paying its required resources. For instance, this one requires a white, a blue, a red, and a black. Once you acquire that and it comes to your side, you now have a permanent green chip as part of your resource. So this could be used as um, the cost for other cards. It never goes away, stays with you for the entire game. And the last thing you can do is what they call reserve a card. So for instance, you can take this card, reserve it, and now that's where these come into play. When you reserve a card, you get a wild coin. This counts for any one of these five coins. Now, only you can now purchase this card. The reason you may want to reserve a card is because you're getting close to being able to acquire it and you don't want somebody else to get it before you do. Or you may see your opponent is getting close to uh, acquiring that. That may get him to win the game. You want to take it so he can't. And now you have it over here. Now, when you get a coins, you can never have more than 10 in your supply in front of you at the end of your turn. Why do I say at the end of your turn? Because if you have nine chips in front of you at the beginning of your turn, you can take three different to get up to 12. However, at the end of your turn, you have to put two back in to exchange them, so you can only end up with 10 at the end of your turn. Now, last, those nobles up on top. As you noticed, see how they're square where their gems are and these are round? Because in order to acquire the nobles, what happens is they're looking for cards. For instance, that noble over there is looking for four blue cards and four white cards. So once you have four cards that have a blue gem and four cards that have a white gem, that noble will pay you a visit for free with his three points towards your 15. So those are very simple ways to play Splendor. Three possible actions. You can only do one of the three. Real briefly, take three different chips or two of the same, but there must be at least four in the stack. Purchase a card, pay its required cost, or reserve a card. Take a card, put it face down, and take a gold chip. And I'm sorry I forgot to mention, you can never have more than three reserve cards at one single time. Again, those are the simple rules to play Splendor. First person to 15 wins. I hope you guys enjoy.